Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're here in our wetsuit department. Let us show you around. So for tailored suits, we have a chart numbered in the sequence of measurements we require. Sergio is our wetsuit man. Let him explain it to you. Thanks, Rob. Hi, everyone. I'm Sergio Campos from the wetsuit factory here at Rob Allen in South Africa. Today, we're going to talk about the steps that are required to measure yourself for a custom suit. It's not very difficult. A lot of people are overwhelmed by this, but uh, we're going to do our best to help you out. There's only a few things that you need. Number one is a soft tape measure. Number two is a ruler. We're going to be measuring in centimeters today. We don't need to have an exact measurement down to the nearest millimeter, so we can round off to the whole centimeter as we get started. Number one is the circumference of the head around the top of the eyebrows. Place the tape measure around the top of the forehead, measure in a circle, and that is your measurement. Number two, the circumference of the neck. This follows the same method of around the forehead, around the neck, just like a shirt size. Number three, Arm length from armpit to wrist. Dave, please lift your arm up. We're going to start at the wrist bone and we're going to go all the way in to the crease of the armpit. A nice long straight linear measurement. Number four, circumference of the thigh at the top. Around the top of the thigh, bring it in nice and tight and get the circle. Number five is the inner leg length from crotch to the middle of the kneecap. This is where the ruler comes in handy. Have the person place the ruler between their legs at a comfortable level. Imagine the ruler is the beaver tail on your wetsuit. We're gonna measure from the level of the ruler down to the center of the kneecap. Number six is a continuation of the first measurement. It's going from the inside of the kneecap down to just above the ankle bone. Find the middle of the kneecap and measure down to just above the ankle bone where your wetsuit would end. Number seven is the circumference of the chest at the widest part, pretty much under the armpits. Have the person lift their arms up and go all the way around in a round measurement. It's often a good idea to get the person to take a deep breath and check and see how much the measurement changes. Somewhere in the middle is always best. Number eight is the circumference of the waist. Right where your trousers would end, a waist measurement. Number nine, circumference of widest part of hips. Again, around the backside and get the circumference. Number 10 is the total inseam length from crotch to ankle. We take this measurement again in one go just to confirm the length of the first two. Line the tape measure up with the ruler, run down the inside of the leg and stop just above the ankle bone. Number 11, the circumference of the upper bicep. Go around the top of the bicep. Remember not to pull it too tight here. You want a little bit of extra room around the top of the bicep. Number 12, same thing, but lower down, just towards the bottom of the bicep. Number 13 is the circumference of the elbow. Again, same principle, around the elbow. Number 14, is the circumference of the forearm. It's easier to start at the top and work your way down the arm as it gets narrower and narrower. Number 14A is the circumference of the bottom of the forearm. Number 15, the last one, is the circumference of the wrist, just above the wrist bone. Now we move on to the legs. Number 16 is the circumference of the middle of the thigh. Again, following the same procedure as before, find the middle point of the thigh and take a circumference measurement. Number 17 is circumference of the kneecap. Again, the same as before, find the middle of the kneecap and get a circumference measurement. Number 18 follows the same principle, but it's just below the kneecap. Number 19 is around the widest part of the calf. Number 19A is just below the calf. 
Number 20 is right at the bottom, just above the ankle. Don't measure over the ankle bone. We want this measurement to be just above your ankle bone where your wetsuit leg will end. Number 21 is the oval circumference of the head. Start on the side, go around the chin and over the top. This helps with us measuring the correct size for the hood opening. Number 22 is the circumference of the armpit around the shoulder. It's always best to measure the person from behind. Take the tape measure, the top of the shoulder, bring the back round, don't pull it too tight. We want a nice opening to allow for arm movement. Think about the same size as your t-shirt opening. Number 23 is the arm length from the middle of the spine to the end of the wrist. We measure this one from behind. Place the tape measure in the middle of the spine, take it all the way across to the wrist bone. Number 24 is a measurement from the elbow to the wrist. Number 25 is a measurement across the widest part of the back. Essentially, we are measuring across the person's lats. Find the spot just below their armpit and take the tape measure across to the other side. Number 26 is the upper body length measurement. Here we are measuring down the front from the base of the neck to crotch level. This is where we use the ruler again. Take your tape measure, place it in the hollow of the neck, bring it straight down the front and stop at the ruler. Right everyone, that concludes today's video on how to measure for a custom made wetsuit. It's not very difficult and I hope that this video has helped to explain just how it's done. Just remember not to measure too loosely or too tightly. Just find the happy spot in the middle. If you have any questions or queries, please drop us a line or hit us up in the comments. We're always here to help and happy to answer any questions at all. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.